It is good you resolve this demon business. Now we must either revive the heart or allow them to men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his children are breaded and cursed by the maker. Those who bring ham? And the maker does not bread sinners. Oh, would you stop correcting me? I know the chant like the back of my hand. <laughs> The deep dark before. For dawn's first light seems eternal, but no. Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon, just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> and pride again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. I have always been fascinated with history. What better place to indulge that than the birthplace of the Maker's Prophet? To be the curator of this chantry and to be so young, I fight a battle with pride, and hopefully the Maker can forgive my occasional defeat. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts.
When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relic slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the Maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire, but it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. Certainly, my research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, though it's possible the urn broke. Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. Of course, enjoy your visit to the Chantry. In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Ulmer.